What's up, everybody? This is your boy AC, and welcome back to another breaking news edition of LA Sports Live. Now, we got a story that's breaking in the national news media, the national sports news media, and, uh, you know, a lot of people, jaws are on the ground, a lot of people are mad, upset, and if you're a Laker hater, if you're a LeBron James hater, you really fucking pissed. The news is that the Lakers are aligning their salaries and they're positioning themselves to acquire Giannis. I could tend to topo or whatever, how to, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. The Lakers have their eyes on Giannis. You guys, you know the situation with Giannis and his contract situation. He's in his last year. The, uh, Milwaukee has a Supermax sitting on his table. He has yet to sign it. He has till December 21st to sign that contract. Or he could play the season out and sign it at the uh, end of next season. Um, we know the Bucks trade. One of the Bucks moves over the offseason fell through. They were able to trade for Drew Holiday, but the sign trade for Bogdanovich fell through. So Giannis has a little bit of help, but still not enough out there in Milwaukee. The Lakers have, like I said, aligned their salaries and everything, and they have some really good tradable contracts. Schroeder's contract is very nice, tradable. He's expiring deal. Um, uh, Montrez's deal is a nice contract that they can easily trade. The Lakers are positioning themselves to be in perfect uh, move to make a trade for Giannis or land him in free agency next offseason. Um, like I said, a lot the haters out there ain't gonna like it. So people are gonna say they're stacking the deck. But Rob Polinka, Rob Polinka came out and said about a month ago that they were looking for another young star to pair with L uh, with to pair with AD long term on the Lakers. And it was not Dennis Schroeder or Matres Harrell. You know, you got you silly ass people was thinking that I already knew that's not that's not what the lick was. The lick was Giannis. Now, AD has yet to sign his contract extension and it's widely believed that he will take a little bit less money, you know, just it just kind of determines, um, you know, if, if Giannis goes ahead and signs that Supermax, AD will probably sign a long term deal. But if Giannis does not sign that Supermax, and that means Giannis will be available, AD is more than likely to sign a uh, one plus one, maybe not fully at the uh, full max. Um, if you're a Laker fan, you know, it's all good. If you're not a Laker fan, you ain't gonna like it. Personally, my personal opinion, look, if he wants to, if they can get him on the Lakers, it's all good. But personally, I think he should go to Miami. But, you know, who, who cares what I think? Um, uh, if the Lakers pull this off, man, man. Y'all really gonna hate LeBron then. You really gonna hate the Lakers in and the other GMs they they gonna probably try to follow all kind of lawsuits and all the other kind of shit. But anyway, haters gonna hate. Anyway, we'll see what happens. They could either, like I said, trade for him uh in a couple months, or they could wait for him in free agency uh next off season. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it's your boy AC LA Sports Live. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff because I got all the news right here. And uh, hey, it's my pleasure to bring it to you. Anyhow, I'm out of here. Later.